According to the Central Railroad of Indiana's initial reports, the stabilizer in the tank expired, causing the styrene to polymerize, causing heat, then pressure, then release through a safety valve to avoid an explosion. That gas release forced hundreds of homes and businesses to evacuate. This engineer told us only having a choice between an explosion or a gas release is unacceptable. Okay. Well, if that's the case and both outcomes are a disaster, then you better get some kind of warning system in there to warn the, the people who are running the train, at least. And that technology exists. We found two research and development companies who presented to the FRA wireless devices that would send back a signal to the railway, the shipper, or the receiver whether heat and or pressure is building in a tank car. But that technology does not appear to be used, nor does the FRA mandate it. This chemical engineer says it's a no-brainer. Someone notes the temperature going up, then you can go check on the car and, and potentially add more stabilizer if you, you suspect the loss of stabilizer is a problem. We dug into the records of the Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration and found in the last 25 years, there have been 233 incidents involving styrene, 74 of which resulted in vapor dispersions. Most were mechanical issues, but like in this latest incident, three were caused by used up stabilizer. Of the 14,000 total hazardous material incidents involving trains, which were not loading or unloading, 81 involved Ineos, the same company involved in the incident near Cleves. So looking to the future, is this the kind of thing that you're going to start asking your customers? Is there an expiration on your stabilizer? I think there's some questions that we all have to ask, including our customers and other railroads and, and partnering with the FRA. Well, that rail company executive told us Thursday that Ineos, the chemical company shipping the styrene, had that tank car sitting for days near Cleves because Ineos said that it was not ready for the shipment. We continue to ask Ineos questions like, how long was the styrene in transit? Was there enough stabilizer added to begin with? And why did you not accept the tank car and unload it? We've yet to hear back. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.